Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2. This is equal to 1 over 8. So what is the value of x? Or what are the values of x? Now let's provide a solution from here. So this is x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2. This is equal to 1 over 8. The first step is to multiply both signs by 8, so that now, here we have 8x to the power of 3, then plus 8x to the power of 2, this is equal to, remember 8 and 8 here simplifies, so this is equal to 1. We can express 8 as 2 to the power of 3, multiplying by x to the power of 3, then plus here we'll have 2 to the power of 3 times x to the power of 2. This is equal to 1. Now, we can express 2 to the power of 3 and x to the power of 3. This is in the form of a to the power of n times b to the power of n, which we can express as a times b to the power of n. Applying this property, then we have 2x raised to the power of 3, then plus here we can write this as 2, 2 to the power of 3 is the same thing as 2 times 2 to the power of 2 times x to the power of 2, this is equal to 1. So this is 2x raised to the power of 3, then plus this is 2 multiplied by 2x raised to the power of 2, this is equal to 1. So you can see that 2x is common here, 2x is common. So we can let 2x be equal to u. Now let's substitute u here so that we have u to the power of 3 plus 2u squared. This is equal to 1. Let's take 1 on the left hand side so that we have u to the power of 3 plus 2u squared minus 1. This is equal to zero. Now we can express 2u squared, this is the same thing as u squared plus u squared minus 1, this is equal to 0. If we say u squared plus u squared, this is 2u squared. So that now, here we have got two parts here, and from the first part here, we have that u squared is common, so we can factor out u squared so that we have u plus u squared divided by u squared, this is 1. Then plus, we can express u squared minus 1. This is the same thing as u squared minus 1 squared. This is equal to 0. Okay, now u squared minus 1 squared, this is in the form of a squared minus b squared, which you can express as a plus b, multiplying by a minus b. Now, applying this property, we can express u squared minus 1 squared, that is u squared minus 1 squared. This can be expressed as u plus 1, multiplying by u subtract 1. So that now, we have u squared into the parentheses, this is u plus 1, then plus u plus 1, u minus 1, this is equal to 0. Now, let's proceed from here. If you're watching this, kindly like this video and subscribe. Now, we have that u plus 1 is common here, so let's factor out u plus 1, so that we have u plus 1. Into the parentheses, we have u squared plus, now this is u, minus 1, this is equal to 0. So we have got two parts here, we have that u plus 1, this is equal to 0, and we have that u squared plus u, subtract 1, this is equal to 0. So we have got two parts here, from the first part, we have that u is equal to minus 1, we have that u is equal to minus 1. And if you recall from here, if you recall, we are saying that let u be equal to 2 
x so we have 2x is equal to u so this means that 2x is equal to minus 1 so here we divide both signs by 2 and this implies that x1 is equal to minus a half x1 is equal to minus a half now the second part here is a quadratic equation which is actually u squared plus u subtract 1 this is equal to 0 so this is a quadratic equation where we have a is equal to 1 b is equal to 1 and c is equal to minus 1 so we can solve for u2 comma u3 by applying the quadratic formula here which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 is c everything here divided by 2 times a so this implies that here we have minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared minus 4 times a which is 1 then times c which is minus 1 everything here divided by 2 times 1 so we have minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared which is 1 minus 4 times minus 1 this is plus 4 everything here divided by 2 so what we have here we have minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 4 which is 5 so we have the square root of 5 divided by 2 so this is u2 comma u3 so this implies that u2 this is equal to minus 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 and then we have u3 this is equal to minus 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 now again if you recall we have that we end seen that right 2x be equal to u so let's start with u2 so that we have 2x this is equal to now this is the same thing as root 5 minus 1 over 2 so let's multiply both signs by 1 over 2 and also here we multiply by 1 over 2 so that now here we have that x this is x2 is equal to this is root 5 minus 1 divided by 2 times 2 which is 4 and this implies that from here that x2 is equal to now root 5 this is the same thing 2.23607 minus 1 divided by 4 and this is equal to 1.23607 divided by 4 and this gives us the value of x2 equal to 0.30902 so this is the value of x2 this is the value of x2 now let's solve for x3 remember we have 2x this is equal to now minus 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 so again we multiply both signs by 1 over 2 also here we multiply by 1 over 2 so this means that x3 is equal to now we have minus 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 times 2 which is 4. So x3 is equal to minus 1 minus square root of 5 and this is 2.23607 divided by 4. So that now this is equal to minus 3.23607 divided by 4 and this gives us the value of x3 which is equal to minus 0 0.80902 so this is the value of x3 so we have got three solutions here we have got three solutions here we have x1 is equal to minus a half we have x2 this is equal to 0 0.80902 and we have x3 which is equal to minus 0 0.80902 so these are the three solutions that we have for this algebra problem so let's verify that these three solutions here satisfies the equation 
Now let's verify that the three solutions here, x1, x2, and x3, satisfies the equation. If you recall, we have x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 1 over 8. So let's start with x1, which is minus a half. So we have minus a half raised to the power of 3, then plus minus a half raised to the power of 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 1 over 8. And this means that here, minus 1 over 2 raised to the power of 3, this is minus 1 over 8, plus 1 over 4. This should give us a value of 1 over 8. So here we have the LCM is equal to 8. 8 divided by 8 is 1 times minus 1. This is minus 1 plus 8 divided by 4 is 2. 2 times 1, this is 2. And this is supposed to give us a value of 1 over 8. So minus 1 plus 2, this is 1 over 8, which is equal to 1 over 8. So this means that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this affirms that x1, which is minus 1, satisfies the equation. Let's check x2, which is 0 0.30902. Let's substitute to the formula here so that we have 0 0.30902 raised to the power of 3 plus, no, we have 0 0.30902 raised to the power of 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 1 over 8, which is 0 0.125. Now, this means that 0 0.30902 to the power of 3, this is the same thing as 0 0.029509, then plus 0 0.30902 to the power of 2, this is the same thing as 0 0.09549, and this is supposed to give us a value of 0 0.12. Point one two four nine nine, and this is supposed to be equal to zero point one two five. So this is zero point one two four nine. If you round off here, this is the same thing as zero point one two five, which is equal to zero point one two five. So the left hand side is equal to the right hand side, and this affirms that x two here also satisfies the equation. Let's check x3. So this means that we have, this is minus 0 0.80902 raised to the power of 3, then plus 0 0.8, this is minus 0 0.80902 raised to the power of 2. This should give us a value of 0 0.125. Now, if we raise this to the power of 3, then we have minus 0. Point. This is 52951, then plus 0. 0.654513, and this is supposed to give us a value of 0. 0.25, 0. 0.125. Now, if we minus 0. 0.52951 plus this here, then this means we have 0. 0.125 which is equal to 0 0.125. And this implies, again, the left hard side is equal to the right hard side. And this affirms that x3 here so satisfies the equation. So this means that the three solutions here satisfies the equation. So kindly of follow the steps, like this video, and subscribe. If you have alternative solution method, kindly showcase in the comment section. See you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.